happening to see even right now is when individuals participate with technology, they are using applications and data for a great growing number of functions within their life. And they're using now a variety of different technologies. It was, there was a time not too long ago when all of us, if we were using computing technology, we had just potentially a standalone desktop computer at uh, work and potentially one at home and, and we kept our work data at work and we kept our home data at, at home and occasionally would have to work on how to get things from place to place but it didn't have to do that very often. Uh, the world we are evolving to is going to be a very different place. We're evolving to a world where people are going to wake up in the morning and interface with a certain computing device uh, to, that will have applications on it and data that they will be using in certain ways. They will then maybe potentially have breakfast where they will go to their kitchen and they will have another tablet device or something on the counter in the kitchen. They'll then get in their car and there will be a computer in their car and, the, and then they will go to work and after work they will have their handheld PC that is also their phone. And you could see where I'm going that there could be 15, maybe 20 devices during the day that all look very different, whether they're handhelds or tablets or a car PC. But those devices are going to be devices that people are going to expect that they're going to be able to have to a large degree their applications and their data available to them. For them to be able to do that, those applications and those data are going to need to be transmitted from device to device. They're going to, this is going to be a connected computing continuum. And, and that likely means that in most cases we are going to be using the internet for the backbone of that connectivity for individuals' participations in their personal and business lives. Now there, there's nothing all that revolutionary about any of that other than to recognize that this is an evolution that we are going through. What that's going to mean is that many of those devices that we will use are not going to have the memory to hold all of those applications and data just on that device. This is going to create an increasing need for remote storage of these applications and data. And that could be done in a variety of different ways. One way to do it would be to, for people to operate their own server and communicate back to their own server. But more than likely, in most situations, individuals are not going to want to do that. And they're going to take advantage of this growing aspect of remote data and application storage, which many people would refer to in some context as cloud computing. So now we have a, a situation that we are evolving to where people want to rely upon this computing continuum for the, these new and innovative uses within their life and their business, and they are going to have to rely upon individuals to store this data remotely for them. And that data could be stored, applications could be managed anywhere all around the world. This creates a tremendous need since individuals are going to be relying upon this, for individuals to be able to trust that computing continuum. When, when we look at trust, we think that both privacy and security are fundamental components of that trust and creates the need to have the types of discussion that we're going to have today of how do we provide a reasonable basis for people to be able to trust and for people to have an understanding that it's reasonable for them to engage in these computing activities because their data is going to be protected or the network is going to be protected.